Well, the third graders at Wells Elementary School had a project this spring present a report on a famous Mainer. Isabella, Zaba, uh, Isabella Bazada, that is, chose Olympic swimmer Ian Crocker. But Isabella didn't just write the report about Ian, she managed to get him to come from Austin, Texas, back to Maine to meet her classmates. I, I had a goal, I set a goal for myself that I wanted to go to the Olympics someday. All right, does anybody here have a dream that they someday want to achieve? Ian Crocker knows the role dreams played in him becoming one of the world's top swimmers. And when he got word that Isabella Bazada wanted him to be her presentation piece of her project, he got a special feeling. You know, this, this girl sounds like a, a really driven, great girl. And she is. Bazada from the start wanted something special for her report. We'll put that on. We had to have a visual, and I wanted Ian to be my visual. After many tries, she got in contact with Ian's boss, who connected Ian with Isabella. As I get further away from my own uh, swimming career and more into the coaching side, you know, you, you kind of expect that that stuff is going to kind of die, die down. Um, and so it is flattering when, when you hear that you're still, you know, in, in the mind of, of, a, of the young swimmers coming up. As a swimmer herself, Isabella is also looking forward to the clinic Ian is running on Sunday at the Y in Sanford. You, you, you're going to get to swim with Ian on Sunday? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Well, besides the clinic on Sunday, the Red Sox got word of Ian's visit and sent tickets for the Bazada and Crocker families to go to the game tonight at Fenway. And even though he's given up competitive swimming, Ian is focusing on coaching. He's currently an assistant with the University of Texas women's swim team.